very much appreciate the opportunity to talk with you this morning about erythromer, which is a novel nanoscale biosynthetic artificial red cell. So there's been an unmet need for some time for a blood substitute to enable transfusion where stored blood is unavailable or undesirable. Unfortunately, all prior blood substitutes have failed to the two key flaws, poor oxygen delivery to tissue, despite being able to improve oxygen content in blood, and in a, in a problem with vasoconstriction where the blood substitutes cause vasospasm, preventing traversal of normal red cells to tissue. Because of major improvements in synthetic chemistry and nanomedicine, we've been able to encapsulate normal human hemoglobin with a suite of small molecules that encode wetware, if you will, that coordinate normal or imitative behavior uh, for the particle that simulates red blood cells. Our design is comprised of the following components. The particle shell either sequesters or releases a small molecule that modulates, <laughs> modulates oxygen affinity um, in connection with blood pH so that in the lung, oxygen affinity is high and in tissue, oxygen affinity is low. The particle shell is designed to develop a selective diffusion barrier to nitric oxide, a vasodilator molecule, that prevents sequestration and consumption and the vasospasm that plagued prior blood substitutes. We also include a small molecule that retards iron rusting so that hemoglobin doesn't oxidize during uh, use of the blood substitute. And the blood substitute itself is designed to be freeze-dried so it can be stored for extended periods at ambient temperature and reconstituted easily with water at the point of care. A molecule that was designed to imitate the, the normal uh, components of a red cell membrane are put in a vessel with the payload components. It self-assembles into a toroid about a 50th the size of a red blood cell and at the end of synthesis the surface is cross-linked to improve particle stability and to develop the selective diffusion barrier for nitric oxide. We exploited a genetically engineered mouse model to design a novel efficacy test. We used a, a reporter molecule called H1, HIF, or hypoxia inducible factor, that glows, uh, is genetically engineered to glow when it's stabilized. This detects the presence of hypoxia. Here you can see a mouse that is glowing and anemic. Here is a mouse that's not glowing, who's been resuscitated with the blood substitute. 70% of his blood volume has been replaced with the artificial red cells, which when clear, the glowing returns, demonstrating not only effective capture, but release to tissue and the absence of vasospasm. We envision several opportunities for nanocrit or erythromer use outside the resuscitation of wounded soldiers or trauma victims, possibly for use for short term in the operating room or to deliver oxygen past vascular obstruction or to preserve vi viability of explanted organs prior to transplant. We have a highly choreographed plan to bring this to human trials, which we anticipate will take about eight to 10 years. I want to uh, also acknowledge the vast team of uh, colleagues that helped with this, a synthetic chemist at University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and a specialist in mouse models of transfusion at the University of Toronto. Thank you for your attention.